The rising of the sun marks another day at Reach Out Mbuya Parish in the heart of Uganda. To jumpstart the day, staff who in most cases are clients as well, convene with other new patients to connect the body and mind. This program is unique in the sense that it offers free medical, social, spiritual and emotional support to HIV positive persons. If you're starting ARVs, you should discross for these reasons. They will help you, someone when someone knows you're sick, will help you to take your drugs well. To those ones who are positive, open their status for supportive love. Because once you open your status, all people will have love for you. You get treatment. And once you open the status, the stigma will be broken. Robert Ngole, a teacher by profession, is a client here. The clinic cares for over 2,500 HIV-positive persons, up from just 14 in 2001. The increase in persons seeking antiretroviral therapy posed a challenge. Limited medical personnel forced the organization to accept volunteers, who in most cases are clients themselves. Nurses also double up as doctors to match the growing demand the ARV in 2004 March and my CD4 count was only one so I continued getting my medication and my life came back and I, I was put to be a literacy teacher I've been teaching the adults then from there again I started working in the community on HIV awareness creating awareness and giving testimonies. We can prescribe, we've been through the sessions of ARVs, ART, side effects and all that, but every client that is starting ARVs, we sign then the doctor counter signs, the doctor refused, reviews the file. Buya Parish staff pride themselves on not only treating their disease, but healing the soul as well. The community in return does not shy away from visiting the clinic. A beneficiary of the program, Robert separated from his wife, believes abstinence if infected is the key to an AIDS-free generation. Sometimes we talk about safe sex, but once you get used to there's a time where you can you can go without without using a condom. Many people use it uh, maybe two to three days, the following day they, they go without a condom. Inside these walls, the community has learned to appreciate that being HIV positive is not the end, but rather a new beginning. The staff has also learned that love, care and support is a useful ingredient that can move mountains. The message is clear, reach out, and that's exactly what the staff at Mbuya Parish in Nakala Division of Uganda have dedicated themselves to helping the local community realize a second chance and have hope of a better tomorrow. Join me next week as I take you through yet another initiative by the parish to ensure the locals are self-independent, that is, financially speaking. Kathina Chenga for Channel One, Beyond the Epidemic.